Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing and today we're unboxing another uh, Candy Locks Sugar Style doll. This is uh, Lacey Lemonade and she's obviously, if you guys couldn't tell, she's a lemonade uh, theme. So she's got the pink lemonade and the regular basic yellow lemonade going on throughout her old outfit. Uh, these boxes are really nice and sturdy and hard, I have to say that much. And uh, they display, it seems like the girls would display really well inside them. I unfortunately don't have much room for box things any, these days, so I have to be picky and choosing about what I keep in their box. But anyhow, she has super long cotton candy hair. These are basically like the big versions of the small ones that come in the cotton candy cones. Um, I don't know if there's how many versions are going to be made. This is one of two that I was able to find, and I don't know. I haven't seen any other reviews other than... Uh, one other review and it's these same two girls so I don't know anyhow <laughs> the one thing uh should I talk to you about what I don't like you know what I'm gonna uh we're gonna check out the box art we're gonna open her up here uh it says who's in there with a the cotton candy hair and then on the back here it says you can add a hair extension it includes hair chalk which I'm not going to be using today and you add accessories it also says lacy lemonade is scented so lemony sweet with scented cotton candy hair that's more than a treat. You can swirl and twirl, color, chalk, and twist it into buns. Add extensions and delicious accessories for hair play fun. And then there it is in French. More sweet treats to collect, and this is telling you that there's 20 plus to collect in here. So I don't know, like if there's 20 plus to collect of these girls or 20 plus of these girls, if there's like maybe, maybe these girls are like promotion girls or something for that line. I don't know. I'm so confused. But we have a uh, twisty swirly twist. We have uh, the sugar high pony. And then we have the delicious double buns that we could do on here. It comes with instructions. This hair I already know is really hard to, really hard to style. Um, it is for ages five plus. I'm sure for multiple reasons. I also wanted to um, make everybody aware that each box is completely designed, at least for the first two that we've found, um, have been completely designed for exclusively this doll. You have doll art. Uh, even the inner box of the box says uh, Candy Lux Lacy Lemon. So that's pretty awesome, I think. So I'm assuming that she's going to smell like lemons. We're going to go ahead and take her out and we're going to see what we got. She is outside of her box before we get into her. Let's see if I can get her to stand here. She's got a lot of hair, guys. Blaze, stop throwing things. So we have uh, her sunglasses, which are tinted on the bottom. You can see that yellow color, the yellow lemonade. And then the rest of them are pink. They're transparent. I heard rumors they didn't fit her head, but we're, we'll see. We have our hair extension, what's in the shape of cotton candy, and that is in purple. And we also have, um, we opened up on our last video just to check it out. This is the hair chalk that it comes with. Um, I was right to not put him in the doll, it in the doll because it does not come out of the doll. It's cool to put hair chalk in there, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, um, here is her hair. Uh, it does come loose uh, with two twisties in the front. It's very, very long, and the feeling of it is somewhere between cotton candy and insulation that you put in your wall. <laughs> I'm thinking that's the kind of cotton it is, or whatever. It's very fragile. You don't want to brush it. Uh, it might come out. Uh, this girl has a darker complexion than the last girl we opened up, um, as you can see. She is winking. Um... I don't know how I feel about that on the bigger dolls. It's kind of cute in the little dolls, but then again, I don't really like it that much. But on the bigger dolls, it doesn't seem to execute the same, in my opinion. Um, I would have rather just see her um, with both both of her green eyes open. Uh, but they do put this cute little uh, lemon slice that is done in the light pink and the orange with light pink juice coming out of it. She has a light pink lip. The eye that she does have, well, her eyelashes, um, her eyelids are covered in a swirly makeup that is like a, let's see, a really light metallic purple with a darker 
lilac. And her eyebrows are also lilac, so it's interesting. Uh, she does also got a star, star in her eye with a little bit of a heart and a yellow pupil. So, um, I mean, yeah. I just, I don't, I don't really think that her eye, her closed eye looks right in that socket. That's just me. Uh, she does have molded on hair on the sides and the back, uh, with the, in the light pink, pink color. Um, and then she has this weird hairline that I'm actually not too keen about, but I've said that already gone through that rant in my last video. If you make her hair up properly, it does form, um, a different type of hairline that does cover up, um, the abrupt ending of her head, which is flat on the top. Uh, she does have a inner lining. Let's see if I can get up. Um, I think I've already showed that in our last video, but I can probably get another look at it here. You guys can see. It is the same color as her hair, so it does blend well. Um, I actually think the hair is a little bit more fuller on this girl. We could... Let's just go into her outfit. As I explained to you before, the outfits are um, the rubber flexible plastic. They're not done in fabric. But uh, you have the yellow top of the dress with the pink slice of um, lemon on the top. And then you have a darker pink belt that goes around. And you have a lavender colored skirt with a bunch of lemons. Some are sliced in rounds, some are sliced in wedges, and some are just not sliced at all. Her shoes are really cute. Her shoes are done in a pink, and they have that strap that goes around the ankle and a little bow in the back. And she also has lemon slices on the top that are done in yellow. She also has translucent heels. They're, it's like a translucent pink. So that's pretty cool. I think her outfit is really good and executed properly. Articulation-wise, um, I think her head... Does her head move? Yeah, her head moves, um, her arms move back and forth, and her legs, I think her legs move so she can sit. Um, unfortunately for me, I'm not really keen on this pose either for these bigger dolls. I would actually have preferred, if they were going to limit it, the articulation, I would actually have preferred for them to just put straight legs so that they can stand because they unfortunately don't come with stands. So I would have preferred a straight leg instead of a little cute little... I mean, it's cute. The bend is cute, and I guess it might be cuter in the smaller dolls, but I would prefer straight legs, and the arms are okay. But uh, it bothers me a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So let me see if I can fit her glasses on her head. Okay, no, the glasses... Her face structure, like the... Um, it's so slippery and smooth that the glasses have to stress to get onto her, her big head, and they just slip right off. So they definitely don't stay on. They fling off. So I bet you could probably just put them on the top of her head, and that does help with the hairline a little bit, I think. Um, oh, I also want to let you guys know, um, when I opened the other girl up, when I opened uh, Straw Mary up, she didn't really have much of a scent at all. But um, as I was opening her up, the first thing I noticed is I could smell that lemonade sm that lemonade scent, that lemony scent. Um, it's still subtle, but more prominent enough to be able to know that it's there. So I like it. I like the smell a lot. Yeah, I like it. Um, other than that, that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, if you liked this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.